Right now, one person is dead. At least 75 are sick from the E. coli outbreak linked to McDonald's quarter pounders. This follows a deadly listeria outbreak tied to Boar's Head Deli Meats. Right now, Tara Molina is taking us inside a local laboratory where they're studying what causes these outbreaks. They're taking a really close look at bacteria in this lab, how it survives on food, and what can be implemented to make sure it doesn't. This as some call for more oversight on the federal level. How did these small apple pieces relate to the McDonald's outbreak happening now? Here's Dr. Elvin Lee, who leads Illinois Tech Institute for Food Safety and Health's Center for Processing Innovation. To try and determine how pathogens behave in foods. Once we know how they behave in foods, it gives us much more information in terms of how we control them. Lee is a microbiologist and virologist with more than 20 years research experience. Is our food supply more dangerous, more contaminated, or are we just getting better at researching it and figuring out what's wrong with it? Yeah, I think it's more the latter, right? So our food supply is, is safe. Right, but we are, we're doing a lot more things nowadays to actually detect them. We have much more information about what is actually happening. Pathogens are smarter, bigger, faster, meaner than they were 50 years ago. Bill Marler has worked for decades as a foodborne illness lawyer, representing victims of outbreaks across the country. He believes the changes we saw in the meat industry years ago need to make their way into farming and produce. This is the kind of outbreak that should focus Congress's and the FDA's and industry's attention on solving the problem, which is fecal contamination uh, in water that is used to be applied to crops. As for what we could see prevention-wise? There are ways that we can use maybe technologies like artificial intelligence and things like that right, to predict certain things from, from happening so that we could actually take action prior to people becoming sick. We put more information from the experts we connected with in reporting this story today and the story you'll find on our website right now where we will continue to update the very latest on this outbreak. Reporting in Bedford Park, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News, Chicago.